All right, this is first grade module two, lesson 22. And in this lesson, students are gonna be using the read, draw, and write framework, RDW, read, draw, and write framework, to solve word problems. And all of these word problems involve subtraction, but specifically uh, in the Common Core glossary uh, where it lists all the different kinds of subtraction problems. Specifically in this lesson, we're gonna be solving the put together or take apart problems where the add end is unknown. All right, so let's get working on that. So this question says, Michael and Anastasia uh, pick 14 flowers for their mom. Michael picks six flowers. How many flowers does Anastasia pick? So the idea is, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna say, hmm, well, Michael and Anastasia pick 14 flowers for their mom. So let's draw a picture of that. So the picture I'm gonna draw is going to be uh, not a very good, interesting picture. Uh, I'm just gonna draw one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, one, two, three, four. So there is our five, five, and four. So that's five, 10, plus four is 14. So there's our 14 flowers. You'll notice this time I did not make it look like a 10 frame. I just kind of go went straight in a row, kind of like what Eureka Math has been doing. I kind of prefer personally arranging my dots in a 10 frame with the extras left over. Um, and then it says, Michael picks six flowers. So what does that mean? Well, let's count six. So how he count, he picks six flowers. So that's gonna be these five plus one more. So we could l notate it like this. If we wanted to, we could have crossed them off, but I'm just kind of circling them because that's perfectly fine. I'm gonna call this Michael. And that means Anastasia picked the rest. So that means all of these is what Anastasia has. Anastasia. All right. And then, so what is her answer? Well, the answer, all we have to do is count. We've got four here plus four here. So the answer is eight. So you'll notice I read the word problem. I drew and I did some labels here. This might not be how you drew it. I'm just showing you one example. And it's, we don't all have to come up with the exact same drawing as long as the drawing that the students come up with does indeed match the question. Now the question is write a number, or the directions say to write a number sentence and a statement that matches the story. So one example of a number sentence that we could write, probably the most common, would be 14 minus six equals eight. Um, what I'd like to do is have our students verify that that answer really is indeed eight. So in this case, I would probably use uh, decomposition and I would say I'm going to decompose 14, and I'm going to write it as 4 plus 10. And then I can see that 10 minus 6 is 4, plus the original 4 gives us 8. And that's exactly what we had as our answer. Kind of interestingly enough, down here we've got 4 plus 4, and that's exactly what we had up here, 4 plus 4. It's kind of interesting. Another example, just doing some practice here. It says, Felix made eight birthday card, uh, birthday invitations with hearts. He made the rest with stars, and he made 17 invitations in all. So let's, let's notate those 17 invitations. This time I'm going to do it like a 10 frame. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there are my 17 uh, invitations that Felix made. Now it says eight of them had hearts. So we can say, well, let's see, where's eight? Right here. Here are the eight with hearts. And then the rest he made with stars. So the rest he made with stars. So that's what my label, my drawing would look like. Now if we want to record this as a, a number sentence, 
we might put 17 minus 8. Now the question says, how many invitations had stars? A couple of ways we could get it. We could just count. We could say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So we could count 9 and get our, our answer. Another way we could do it is we could use our decomposition. And we can take 17 and we can decompose it to be 7 and 10. And now we can subtract from 10. We're using the sub take from 10 strategy. And 10 minus 8 is 2 plus the original 7. And that gives us 9. And that's exactly what we know to be our answer. Now, where did we see that from? I mean, how does that connect with our picture? Well, when we do 10 minus 8 and get 2, that's right here. Here's 10 minus the 8 hearts. So if I wanted to, I could cross off the 8 hearts, and that gives us 2 right here. And that's this 2. And where does this 7 come from? It comes from over here. Um, and that is why our answer down here, 7 plus 2 is 9, matches the fact that we have a 9 up here. Last problem for this video. Kenzie went, on a, went to soccer practice 16 days this month. Clearly, Kenzie likes her soccer. Only nine of her practices were on a school day. So how many times did she practice on a weekend? So let's do it. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use my 10 frame again. And I'm going to record that 16. There's my five. There's another five. And there's my 16. You know, again, parents and teachers, if you want to differentiate, if you're having a first grader who's kind of struggling counting up to 16, just simply because they lose track and they make too many dots or not enough dots, feel free to supply your students with a 10 frame. That kind of makes counting easier. So we've drawn our problem. Now it says only nine of her practices were on a school day. So I can circle here. So there is our nine that were on a school day. And it says um, only nine of her practices were on a school day. She went to practice 16 days this month. Now here's the question. How many times did she practice on a weekend? So that means whatever is left must be the weekends. So we're going to do a little bit of guesswork and assume that that's what the authors mean. And so this is our weekend. And we can count our answers. So we've got six plus one more is seven. So our answer for weekend is seven. Now the number sentence that we would write, 16 minus nine, we just said that the answer is seven. Well, let's show it. Let's prove that it is um, the answer is 7. And a couple of ways we could do it. Uh, one way is we could say, well, counting from 9 up to 16. So I'm going to use the count on method. So 9 plus 1 is 10, plus 6 more is 16. So the 1 plus the 6 gives us 7. Another way you could do it is you could say, well, let's count on. You could say 9, and then you can say 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And that means because when we're counting on, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven fingers holding it held up in the air. So that means the answer is seven. And of course, another way we could do it is we could use that take from 10 strategy. So we can decompose. We could subtract from 10, so 10 minus 9 is 1, plus the original 6 gives us 7. So we've got all these different ways um, to solve that problem. The big thing about this lesson, so this was first grade module 2, lesson 22. Uh, the big thing is we have a variety of strategies. We have a variety of ways that we can draw the problem. Boy, parents and teachers, please let your students explore. Let them be experts. Let them be creative in how they solve the problems in this lesson.